computer. Okay, what is up? What is happening? Team Elite, hope you guys are doing good today. How are y'all doing? Welcome to this week's Team Elite weekly call. I uh, am David Lemero, and I'm excited about sharing this information with you today. Today, we are going to be going over uh, a lot of good, a lot of good information, and I'm going to be sharing with you some of my notes from uh, Ray Higdon's notes from a $35,000 Grant Cardone convention that he just recently got through going to. <laughs> How many of you guys would like to hear that? Would like to hear some of his notes. It's good stuff, you guys. It's incredible stuff. I paid a little bit of money to be in this group where he's sharing his notes, and let me tell you, it is so worth it. The return on investment that you guys can make, um, and that I made from this, from just these couple of notes, the, just these couple of lines, these golden nuggets can really, really change your life, okay? So first off, fast track script. How do you get started quickly? Okay, if you guys, um, bef uh, before we get to that, there's lots of good things. We're also gonna get to how to handle the no money objection. And before we get to that, we are going to go over real quick the fast track script, okay? So if at any point in time you want to get going really fast, then if you wanna start creating some motion in your business, simply share this script right here. Hey, I've got a business project I'm working on, I'd love to get your opinion on it. Can you do a video call tonight or would tomorrow be better? That simple, okay? This is the fast track script that has proven to work over and over and over again. This is actually the script right here, you guys, that got an 18 year old to pro four in 22 days. This is it right here, <laughs> all right? This is it. Send it to 10 people and watch what happens, okay? Once they respond, they can only respond in a, in a few ways. If you need any help responding, then let me know, send a screenshot, let me know, but there's only a couple of responses. They could either ask, what is it? Then you say, it's about 90% visual, that's why we gotta do a video call. Simply move them to a question, okay? Try and schedule a time and date. Would tomorrow work for you or would tomorrow be better? Sorry, would tonight work for you or would tomorrow be better? Give them one of two options, okay? Would tonight be good for you or would, be, or would tomorrow be better, right? And if they are in person, if they're within driving distance, I recommend that you say, hey, can we meet up tonight or would tomorrow be better? I recommend that you go and see them face to face. But if you're really busy and if they're with, you know, pretty far driving, then say, hey, can you get on a video call tonight? or would tomorrow be better, right? This is the script. And what we're gonna do, you guys, is we're gonna do a, a Zoom presentation, and I'm actually gonna show them this script, all right? I've got an idea, and watch this. So whenever we, right before we even do the presentation, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna say, hey, I'm gonna show them this script, and I'm gonna say, hey, if at any point in time you see value in this presentation, and you see an opportunity for yourself, text this script, to five to 10 people while we're doing the presentation and we can go ahead and start scheduling your next business meetings to help you build your team. How do you like that? We're gonna go ahead and get people started and give them something to lose before they even get in. Okay, this is how Pro7, Rob Smolik does it and this is how he got to Pro7 within the past year. I met him last year in, in December whenever he was a pro five and he, he got to pro seven earlier this year, okay? So that is exciting. So go ahead, if you wanna create some motion in your business and build, do this. Send this to a few people, right? The next deal is I wanna share this with you. Share my screen, okay? All right. I want to share with you something and I'm announcing it. Um, I'm calling this the Declaration of Team Elite. Say this out loud with me. And if you don't have this yet on your phone, I'm going to make this available in our Facebook group. Uh, I call this the Declaration of Team Elite. It's kind of like a manifesto. So say this to yourself, you know, throughout the day while you're driving, while you're at work. Uh, put, it on a, put it on the background, save it, download it as the, as the background of your phone. And say this as a constant reminder of your journey, of your commitment, of your dreams, of your family, that you're blessed and not, and not cursed, that you're a part of something bigger. So here we go. I create my own freedom. I destroy the status quo. 
I am blessed and highly favored. I don't need, I will build my dreams. I will build my dreams, right? I don't need permission. I commit to helping others, okay? I take action every single day. I am a part of something bigger than myself. I impact people's lives. I become who I need to be, and I'm just getting started. I am a member of the Team Elite family, all right? I'm excited about this, you guys. I think one of my favorite parts of this is I'm just getting started. <laughs> you have so much opportunity out there and so many people to, to bless and to help, and I'm just getting started. Look out, world. Here we come, right? So download this. I really encourage it to you. Um, if you have, if I have not sent it to you already, then I'm going to make it available in the Facebook group. And if you're not on Facebook and you would like me to send this to you directly, then just text me, reach out to me and let me know. And I will send it to you directly. Okay. But otherwise I'm going to be putting it in the team elite Facebook group and you will get a notification for that. Next up. Do, 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 do. This week we have life vantage Academy. It is exciting. So if you have not, uh, registered for Life Vantage Academy, go ahead and go to lifevantageacademy.com and you can register there. Now, what is Life Vantage Academy? This is our statewide training, happens once a month, every third Saturday of the month. And let me ask you guys, how much would it be worth to you if you had a monthly four hour training, a mentorship session from expert leaders that are making anywhere between 100,000 a year to $100,000 a month, right? Would, what would that be worth to you? And you're sitting over there thinking probably like, oh my gosh, what? Are you serious? They're really making that much? And oh my gosh, are they really going to come and do that? Yes, they will because this is part of the mentorship and part of the training that this company and these leaders love to provide for us to show us how to do it because they are truly, genuinely uh, invested and interested in your success. So go to lifeandacademy.com. That's where we uh, go and we register for our uh, our monthly training. You can come down with us once you register. Okay. You can do one of two things. You can either come down to Austin with me this Friday evening and you can spend the night with me and my, my wonderful girlfriend. And that way you don't have to wake up super early five o'clock on Saturday and we can go and we can be there at eight or eight 30. Uh, it starts at nine or you could wake up at five o'clock on, on uh, Saturday morning and start driving at six. And y'all can either meet up or hook up or whatever uh, Saturday morning. But if you wanna go with me Friday night, then reach out to me, let me know. You can come down with me and then maybe you can find a, uh, find a ride back because I'll be staying uh, until about Sunday or Monday. But there are gonna be plenty of people from the DFW area coming. So I'm sure you'll be able to find a ride. We can probably hook you up with either Matthew or uh, Priscilla or Roy, whoever. So don't worry about your ride back. We'll get that figured out. All right, again, at lifeandacademy.com, make sure that you get registered. All right, let me go ahead and share a couple of my notes from the, uh, the from Ray Higdon's notes uh, from, from Grant Cardone. So for those of you that don't know who Grant Cardone is, he's like the master guru of sales. Uh, he's a billionaire, he's massive in the real estate, and they, they do over $150 million a month in sales, and it's, it's, it's exciting, okay, what they do. So they, they are trained experts. They know what they're doing. And so I'm going to be sharing with you some of the notes that Ray got from, from this weekend. So just wanted to kind of preface this by saying, because we're talking about how to handle the no money objection, I just want to let you know this. Price is always an objection in the absence of value, okay? So if they bring up price, okay, it means that you didn't show them enough value. It, it means that you didn't build up enough value, enough price justification of what they're going to get, the benefits of what they're going to get, not the features, okay? Not the features. The features is like, um, it includes, you know, this product, that product, this product, whatever. Um, the, the benefits of, uh, of this, this product or this business opportunity, what they're gonna get out of it for them to justify the price, okay? So also, if price is an issue, then just show them something more expensive. Be like, you know what? Um, first off, if they object, agree. 
agree with whatever they object with. Okay. If they, if they, you know, seem to seem to feel like, you know, uh, 350 or 650 or even 1250 is, uh, is expensive to start a business, then agree with them. All right. Don't stonewall them because this is, this is very important. There is a, a formula out there, you guys called feel felt found. Okay. It means I, 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 I understand how you feel. I felt, I felt the same way. Here's what I found. Now you can reword that in, in several different ways. Okay. Um, if, if they say something about the, uh, you know, the, the price of the, uh, of the, of the investment pack, you can say, you know what, this is a significant investment, but it's going to help you get that freedom lifestyle that you want. It's going to be able to help you get, um, that, that extra time, fam that time with your family. This is what's going to get you there. This is going to get you that health, the wealth, and the time freedom that you're looking for. So number one, agree with them, okay? Think about the opposite. What would happen if you stonewall somebody and say, no, this isn't that expensive, right? No, and here's why, all right? Then all of a sudden, they feel like you did not hear them. So the stronger that you agree with them, the more they feel heard. And that's probably the most important part. So think about it in your situation. Whenever you have an objection, whenever you have a concern about a product, service, or, or business, or whatever, and if they just, they are combative with you and they say, no, it's not, then all of a sudden you feel like you're two butting heads, right? So if you agree with them, now they feel heard. Now they feel like you actually care about them. Okay, so you know what? This is kind of expensive, but if you, if you want better health, what's that worth to you? You know, if I could show you that this has helped, can help you like it's helped my friend Julie or help my, my friend Tawny, then what would that be worth to you? Okay, if I could show you that it could actually help you in this and that and this and that, wouldn't that be worth it to you? The answer is always going to be yes, okay? So just curious, here's a, here's a strong way to posture yourself if they, uh, if they don't, if they're not moving forward. Okay. And I'm, I'm just, I'm just sharing with you a couple of different notes that I've taken from his, his sharing. Uh, and all of this is, is leaning towards how to handle the no money objection. So here's a great line, very strong posture. Okay. I'm just curious. Cause I mean, you've been, you've been very interested. You seem like you've been very interested in the product. I mean, you you said that your wife was going through this and that you wanted to get the product for her because it might help her with that. Uh, I'm just curious if you don't do this, if you don't at least try the product, what are you going to do to help your wife? What are you going to do to help your, your health? What are you going to do to um, build towards financial freedom? If you don't do this business, what are you going to do? Okay. Now you kind of have the upper hand on that question because if they had the answer to that question, then they would already be doing it. So literally you're just helping them to see that. Oh my gosh, you're right. I don't really have another answer. I guess I probably should do this with you. <laughs> so I'm just curious, if you don't do this, what will you do? All right, if you don't do this business, what will you do? If you don't have a way to get out of your, an, an escape plan to get out of your business, your job that you don't really like, I'm just curious, what will you do? What's your plan? All right, my dog's barking. <laughs> uh, so there's that, I'm just curious, if you don't do this, what will you do? All right, next. Okay. Uh, so let's say you have some people on the fence, right? And they're just, they're interested. They were interested. Um, and they just kind of, they haven't taken the next step with you, right? You you have one of two options. You could either avoid them about it. And then you seem either, either not interested in them, not caring about them, or you could, you could treat yourself. You could, you could feel yourself like the, like the person that's pressuring them and you don't want that. They don't want that. So that's one option. I don't like that option. The next option is, is to call out the elephant in the room, right? Meet it head on. Okay. So just bring it up, right? Listen, you know, I care about you. All right. And I'm just curious because a little while ago you said that you were very interested in these products. Um, and, and I know that it's going to help you like it's helped my friend. So I'm just curious, what are you, what is it that you're not certain about? Okay. Simply ask them that that's calling out the elephant in the room. Okay. Just ask them. That that's very postured. There's a lot of people that won't do that because they're afraid of a no, right? Don't be afraid of a no. And don't be afraid that if they do say no, that there, you know, that there's hundreds and millions of other people out there for you to go talk to. This raises your posture. Okay. But the root of it is, is you care about that person and you want that person to have the benefits 
of the product, okay? So I'm just curious, because you've been very interested in the business, you just haven't really taken the next step, you know that you, uh, that you I, know, I know that you want more time freedom with your family, so I'm just curious, what is it that you're not certain about, all right? So that's another line that you can use to help get you more posture. So here is, the, those have been a couple of things to help you as far as the, uh, the, the, the money objection or whatever, um, or them not taking the, the, the next step, getting them off the fence. Now here is the exact line, the exact script on how to handle the no money objection. So let's say you get to the end, the end of your presentation and they're very excited about it and they're just like, oh my gosh, I wanna do this, I just don't have the money. And first off, agree with them, right? You listen to them, I hear you. I wasn't, I didn't have the money either whenever I first got started. The bigger part of it for me was just to say yes, to, to, to make the decision that I'm in, I want to get in, I'm excited about it, and I just need to come up with the money. So ask them this question. I'm just curious, if you had the money, would you get in today? I, I'm just curious, if you had the money, would you get started today, right? If they say no, you know what? No, not really, you know, then you know, Okay, so it's not really the money, no big deal, man. Uh, yeah, obviously the business isn't for you, it's no big deal. You must be happy where you're at in your life. And if you're getting results where you're at, if that's, if that's the vehicle that's getting you to where you want to be, then great, go for it, man, I'm excited for you. Um, if they say, you know what, yeah, I would. So I'm just curious, if you had the money to get in, would you get in today, right? And they say yes, well great, here's the next line. How far off are we? Okay, well, how far off are you? Okay, because if they feel like they have to come up with 350 or 650 or 1250, that's a that that feels like a lot of money, right? But if you ask them, well, how far off are you? And they say, well, you know, I've got I've got 200 bucks. Um, or let's just say they were interested in the gold pack or the platinum pack. Well, I've got about $500 in my savings account. Um, or maybe I've got, you know, a thousand dollars. Okay, well, let me ask you this. So you're saying, what, what, what you're saying to me is that you don't have $650 in, in, your, in your bank account or on a credit card combined together anywhere. Is that correct? All right, so you, you're just helping them to locate that money, right? So if they, say, if they say, no, that's correct. Well, how far off are you? Okay, let's say they have $500. Awesome, now the difference is they don't have to come up with a 650, now they only have to come up with 150, okay? Okay, great, so if I could, if I, if I could help you brainstorm some ways on how, to, on how to collect or find or locate that other 150, would you be willing to take the next step? And they'll say, yes, of course, so perfect. Then you just ask them, how can you come up with that money? And you don't even really have to do much, you just ask them, okay, well great, you just start the thinking process. That's all you're doing. You're the consultant. You're just encouraging their creativity, okay? So let, let me ask you, well, how, how can you come up with that extra 150? How can you locate that 150? And they'll start thinking, and they'll be like, well, you know, my, my, brother, owes me 100, my brother owes me 50. I've got, I've got a gun that I don't, I don't really use. I could probably sell that. I've got a PlayStation that I don't really ever play anymore. I could probably sell that. I've got some DVDs that I could probably sell. I don't really, you know, um, I could probably go out and maybe do Uber tonight. Um, that'd give me an extra 50 bucks, uh, whatever. So you just ask them the question, how can you come up with that extra uh, $50 or that extra $150? And start writing those things down, help them game plan on how to get in. And then once you do that, make sure to schedule a time to follow up with them, okay? If you don't, then they may go off in a la-la land and you're never gonna hear from them again, okay? So I encourage you, book a meeting from a meeting. We call it BAMFAM, right? So schedule the time to follow up with them either within the next four days or the next week to say, hey, I'm gonna follow up with you. What if I follow up with you in four days just to see how you're coming along with that? And if you're ready to get started by then, then let's get going. Or if you wanna surprise me and you're already ready to come in before the four days is up, then just reach out to me and let me know. Otherwise, here's those four options. Here's those options on how to locate that extra $150. Go get it, man, you got this. And if you wanna surprise me and get in before but we follow up in four days, then just reach out to me and let me know and I'll help you get started. Okay, so just one more time, how to handle that objection. Um, so I'm just curious, if you, uh, if you had the money today, would you get started? Then you sit and wait, and they're like, yes, and you're like, awesome, okay? So let me just be clear. Um, so you're, what, what you're saying is that, you're, that you don't have, I'm sorry, before that question, 
So the first one is, um, if you had the money, would you get started? Second question, so how far off are you? How far off are you? Okay, they'll tell you. And then so then the next question is, so what you're telling me is you don't have this amount of money, uh, you know, $600, 650, 1250 in any, com any of your combined accounts put together. Okay. When they say that you could kind of back up how far off are you one more time. Okay. So, okay, cool. So how far off are you if you had to combine, you know, your credit card, your savings account, your, your, uh, your, your bank account, whatever. So how far off are you? And they'll tell you, okay, perfect. So the next question is if I could show you how to locate the rest of that money, the $150, you know, the rest of it to get in, would you be willing to take the next step? And they're like, yeah. So you're like, perfect. How can you come up with the money? So what are some ways that you can come up with the money? What are some ways? How can you locate that money? All right, that's it. That, that little line script um, is, is how you handle the no money objection. Okay, and this, is, this has helped so many people like Ray Higdon to bring on people, uh, sponsor people into his business that otherwise weren't going to. And otherwise, they thought that they were done, right? They thought that their mind was closed and they weren't going to be able to do it. So this should help you to... Uh, help more people to get their business started and to, to to change their life. Okay, so I'm excited. Go out there, use it, and don't forget. Don't forget the fast track script. Okay, the fast track script. Hey, I've got a business project. I'd love to share it with you. I want to finish it with this. Hey, I've got a business project I'm working on. I'd love to get your opinion on it. Can you do a video call tonight or would tomorrow work better? Go ahead and send this out to five to 10 people today and watch how this will change your business, okay? I love you guys. I am here for you to do a, a, a Zoom a presentation or a face-to-face -face presentation. Just let me know, get with me, check with my schedule and we'll do this thing, we'll rock it out and we'll have a good time with it. So I love y'all. This is a wrap for this Team Elite Weekly Call and y'all have a good rest of your Monday. God bless you guys. Go set your activity goals for the day and uh, how many people do you want to uh, to prospect this week? How many presentations do you want to do this week? Set your activity goals for this week, and that will help you to reach those goals. So I love y'all. Hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Bye now.